Good morning from Upper Pendente. It is the third Sunday of May and uh, the people of uh, Aqua Pendente are, uh, have been getting ready all night, which we heard because we didn't sleep a wink. It was just a party and getting ready for the festival of Poglioni. Pugnaloni, Pugnaloni, got it, um, which happens uh, once a year. Um, and they are going to have a procession of these amazing paintings made out of flowers, etc., through, uh, through the city, which we will see and we're very fortunate to do so. You can see that they are all rushing because it needs to be ready by 10 o'clock um, this morning. I'm going to just flip this around so you can see the the front there. Uh, yeah, there is one of the one of the ones that they are going to be going to be carrying out. Um, so they've got different kind of houses or that uh, all dress up in different colours, and uh, each of them have make this amazing thing. So it is quite something to see. And it's going to be spectacular to, to visit. And now it's time for coffee. So we are just getting some coffee. Um, Contemplating whether we're going to have the pits, the pasta of last night, for uh, for breakfast, and, um, and then we're going to stay here until we can see the procession. I'm going to see if I can get some drone shots done. Um, in the meantime, uh, normally I like to do it when it's quiet, but um, there's no quiet here today. It's going to be jam-packed with people which is amazing to see and um, yeah and then, uh, then we're going to head off to Bolsena which is on the lake and it's going to be about um, I don't know, about 18 kilometers so it's a short day um, so yeah catch up a little bit later right we are standing at the Barbarossa tower above Aqua Bendente um, it's kind of the first time in a long time that we've been able to um, spend a bit of time. There's sunshine, um, there's activity, and uh, yeah, there's stuff going on, and we're um, kind of chilling a little bit. Um, we're, as I said, right at the top here. Um, I remarked to Amanda that there's no graffiti, there's only art in this place which is uh, amazing. Oh, it's this lady sitting here. In her house. Buongiorno. <laughs> Bellissima. She's from Macedonia. I uh -huh. used to learn that much. Okay, that was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah. All right. And there's even a basketball court next to the Barbarossa Tower. Amazing. Just spotted our yesterday in the distance on the hill, Radicophony from Aqua Pendente on the hill. So uh, yeah, now we know how far we came yesterday. Okay, and how far we go every day. Nice thing here is you can see where you're going and where you come from most of the time. Okay, we're getting ready to go. So this is them getting ready for their one house for the first time. Ah, ah, ah. Maria, Maria. 
We're walking through Aqua Pendente and we are just uh, as we're going spotting all of these artworks that they make as part of this festival and uh, it's amazing they've got flowers in there real flowers all kinds of things from the land um, each one has got its own house and uh, yeah, amazing here on the main square they're um, getting ready with their paintings and uh, they are dotted all over Aqua Pendente. You can see them there, right at the top of the street there. And this is where they're going to be uh, parading through. Good morning. So we are heading out of Aqua Pendente. It was a, a very interesting night with no sleep, but a good day. And uh, amazing to see this festival. And uh, people are starting to pour in to see this. So for the town, once in a year, it is an uh, amazing experience. And, uh, um, obviously something that they look forward to. So uh, we're heading to Bolsena. Going to be right next to the lake just now. We might have a swim depending on whether the sunny weather holds. Or we might just have a swim in any case given kind of what we do. Uh, it's not lukewarm. <laughs> anyway, off we go. Adiamo. Yeah, lekker. I got sunshine. On a cloudy day We are on the road to Rome And there's a car on this small road And the way <laughs> And we are in the way again <clears throat> Here we go Yeah Baby mm. Do you want to go Stay next to the lake Which lake? Well, it's a volcanic lake. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little castle there from the 15th century. Are we sleeping in the Tower of Power? We s we're sleeping in, I don't know, there's a tower. <gasps> <clears throat> but it's definitely going to have some power. I don't know. Well, but uh, yeah, how's, how's about that? Let's just do it. Okay, let's so. Go. Let's go. We're going to the castle by the lake. Yeah, luck. I said to Amanda that I completely forgot about putting sunscreen on because we're so used to walking 
with plastic on it that the sunscreen the kind of is the last thing we're thinking about at the moment and today is blue sky and there's sun for now but then she said in two hours there's going to be a thunderstorm so i said okay right now just leave the sunblock or whatever but we'll enjoy the sun for now about nine kilometers in and um, today's been flat um, farmland um, yeah not really very much to see except the odd potato and bean sprout and a whole lot of what do you call quora no Corn is millies. Wheat, that's the one. A whole lot of wheat. Farmer, old MacDonald. Didn't have a farm. Anyway, a whole lot of wheat. That's where the Quirin Creek comes from, from that wheat country. So uh, we're almost halfway. And uh, yeah, it's been good. Uh, we are making good progress and there's very little mud which is a bonus so things are drying up for now and uh, off we go this will be our first glimpse of Lake Bok Bolsena as we uh, start heading down towards it Heading down into Bolsena takes you directly into this um, forested, foresty wooded area, um, which is great. Uh, great change from the farmlands that we've had earlier, as well as the tar asphalt that we had before Aqua Pendente. So this is, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. We're in the woods and it is humid from the um, <clears throat> the water in the in the ground evaporating um, and there's a lot of it and there's still a lot of um, mud etc um, but can see clouds. They said there was going to be rain this afternoon. So let's see if we can get to the hotel before the rain. That would be excellent.
right we are literally um, three kilometers out of Bolsena and as quick as a flash the weather has changed that promised thunderstorm has arrived the wind has started picking up and uh, yeah now it's just a, a decision on when to put on ponchos or not or uh, maybe we'll outrun it but we'll see in any case it is 40 minutes max maybe half an hour so let's go let's go okay so beautiful day turned into what I've never seen before in my life fuck it my glasses are falling so a beautiful day turned into hail with flowers now have you ever seen hail with flowers neither have I now I have I don't know how much of this is visible but this is bullshit. Ah! not lacquer not in a brochure <laughs> not even in one brochure what a day and now this was dry two seconds ago and now it's reminiscent of Tuscany yeah almost there there's some blue sky Woo. this is us entering Bolsena cloud burst has come and gone but this is gorgeous. I think this might be the castle, might be a museum. So I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Is a ticket office, so we'll come back. Good evening, uh, walking the streets of Bolsena. Um, the weather actually turned around and became quite nice eventually. Uh, we sat outside and um, had uh, a drink. Um, a couple of places that are open, it's Sunday, so not a lot going on. Um, but uh, yeah, we're staying in a um, in a museum. <laughs> you can believe that. So um, it's from the 15th century. Um, the original family still stays there, but most of the building is uh, is a museum, and then they've got some rooms. So um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. A night at the museum. Um, but otherwise, yeah, Bolsena is quiet and uh, not a lot going on. I've uh, 
walked around trying to find a good red wine, which I did. And uh, yeah, Let's see you later. Okay, I'm just um, going to take a walk around the museum. Um, cause, Cause we are staying in a museum, one a night at the museum. I don't know whether anything is visible, but um, it dates from the 15th century. It is a museum in the day, um, and it's got rooms. Um, so I'm just gonna. It's going to be quite spooky at night. Um, uh, here's the what it looks like as a dining room. Here's a bedroom. So I'm going this way. Here's some guys without any heads wearing cloaks, and here's a little church in the in the house. This is I don't know some kind of ballroom. Yeah. And all over there's like, I don't know, old Roman stuff, art, paintings. And then there's someone staying there, so there's some kind of noise coming through there. I don't know where I'm going. More stuff, more rooms. And that's outside. So this is the museum that we're staying in one night in Bolsena. Iha, lekker.